uh, non pharmacological treatment is also very very important in family practice family physicians uh, you know domain uh, these include control and reduction of risk of asthma exacerbation and uh, important uh, you know uh, interventions that we can do is work on smoking cessation smoking cessation is again a you know broad uh, uh, clinical practice entity uh, we are not often taught how to you know help patients with smoking cessation it is a clinical skill uh, it has a, you know a basket of uh, uh, medicines other intervention uh, psychological counseling therapies which family physicians can do uh, but often we are not taught about it you know we simply tell patients that you know please don't smoke stop smoking but does that does not work we have to give them a proper structured smoking cessation program or you know uh, solution so that they can be out of this habit of you know smoke dependence or tobacco dependence vaccination for you know commonly occurring uh, things like uh, pneumococcal infection or influenza infection especially those who are uh, vulnerable elderly even a compromised and for weight reduction is again a domain of family physician in community because you know obesity, obesity uh, you know uh, bariatric surgery is all being talked in hospital but in family physicians level we can give uh, diet advice physical activity advice and motivation to reduce the weight because we have more time to talk to the patients and for weight reduction again there is not much solution available uh, to patients and uh, mostly they depend on you know uh, you know non medical facilities such as you know they may join aerobic classes zumba dancing or uh, you know they may by themselves self Uh, you know practice of yoga or uh, simple exercises they may do but many times they are not been given any structured physical activity program which are available which is possible for family physicians to learn and give so all this smoking cessation routine adult vaccination and weight reduction weight loss management has to be given by the family physician in community and these are all part of the non pharmacological management of asthma you see it is a broad uh, you know entity asthma is not just you know writing medicines uh, or giving injections or you know advising on inhalers it is also about you know whole program of smoking cessation vaccination and weight loss management so when we talk of weight loss integral part is diet advice and integral part is physical activity so diet advice we should be knowing how to do calorie calculations how to give a diet of no of course patients can be referred to dietitians but it is cumbersome and when they come to us we should be giving some wholesome solutions so as family physicians we should also learn you know to write common diet prescription you know common things you know, you know it's a simple things but we do not know you know how much calorie it contains how much calorie a chapati controls how much calorie a one katori of dal contains how to make uh, you know uh, calorie replacements uh similarly on weight reduction physical activity physical activities of three types aerobics walking jogging skipping swimming then there are uh, uh, you know balance like you know stretching uh, and uh, this type of exercise and then there are strength build up or muscle build up exercises like you know dumbbells push ups and weight lifting so you know for every you know type age group of you know contextual you have to give a exercise prescription and writing an exercise prescription we should learn as family physicians and this is useful not just in in context of you know this asthma but also in terms of other lifestyle modifications or lifestyle diseases like uh, diabetes hypertension which may come to us and if you provide these all solutions you know wholesome in your own practice then only you are a true family physician so many times people ask ki how you know management of asthma is different from uh, say for example from a respiratory physician than a family physician so a respiratory physician would not provide uh, you know uh, you know weight reduction program so as family physician you can always provide weight reduction program 
uh, internal medicine doctor may not provide a smoking suggestion thing but as family physician you also have to provide a smoking suggestion learn these skills and integrate in your practice so family physicians uh, responsibility is also we see the patient comprehensively and that all skill should be imbibed inculcated and learned uh, uh, from not only from experience you know but also from you know uh, you know electing such training programs or doing uh, continuous profit professional development programs and that is the real you know uh, uh, educational pursuit we should be having always in mind because we all have to be keeping ourselves as elderly learners you know we are very proud of people because we are doctors you know we have done mbbs many of us are top ones in our school so you know we have a certain self esteem pride in our profession our qualification but as physician you know as uh, many big uh, you know large you know larger than life doctors have said that you know when you stop learning you die so learning is a continuous process if you are deficient in certain areas asthma diabetes hypertension vaccination smoking cessation weight loss management and many of these are not part of a routine mbbs training this you have to learn from yourself by your own initiative uh, nowadays it is not difficult because of the online modalities uh, we should be continuously doing this things 